Creating a repository on GitHub is very easy. To proceed further, please make sure that you have Node and Git installed on your machine. Open the GitHub portal. On the home page, you'll find a couple of options to create a new repository. The new button on top left and start a project button. Let us click on one of these. It will take us to a new page where it will ask for the name of the new repository. Let us call it testing. Add a description about this project. You have an option to make this project an open source or a private project. Opt as per your requirement. If you want to start the project with a readme file, check this option. It is always recommended to have a readme file. In every project, you generally have many files that are required for local development only and you do not want to add these files to your repository. Git provides this facility of adding a git ignore file in your project where you can mention all such files. Here are a few predefined templates of git ignore. You can select one from this list or you can create your own later in the project as well. Go through different licenses available in this drop down and select one suitable for your project. Once you are done with it, click create repository button and you will have your repository testing ready with a readme file. Next is to clone this repository on your local machine so that you can work on it. Click this clone or download menu button. It will show a couple of options to clone it. The recommended is clone with HTTPS, the default option. Copy this URL on the clipboard by selecting this text or just by clicking this copy button next to it. Now, go back to your drive and create a folder where you want to clone this project. Let us open this folder in VS Code. It is the recommended text editor for any development work. It comes with terminal integrated in it. Open the terminal and validate if you are in the correct directory by running the pwd command. Now, type git clone and then paste the URL copied and press enter. It will clone the repository on your machine. Notice that we have a new testing folder added inside our local folder. Inside it, we have the readme file as well. Mind it, it creates a folder with the name of the repository which has all the content inside it. You can notice that we have testing folder created inside the testing folder. Also notice that it has a .git folder as well. This is a very important folder which Git uses to manage its working. You can also download the repository as a zip file. GitHub does provide a visual interface as well, GitHub Desktop. If you do not feel very comfortable using the command line, you can use this option, Open in Desktop. It will ask for permission to proceed with GitHub Desktop application. There you can make your choice for the repo and local path and can clone it using the application. If you want to download this application, the link is provided in the description section.